Finals, brought to you by CBS Sports. Pat O'Brien talked to Pat Riley and asked him just moments ago if he thought that the Lakers were losing their confidence. <laughs> no, they, they haven't. Uh, Detroit's playing well, and, you know, we just got to kick it up a notch, and I think we will this half. So they're going to, you, you feel good about them going in the second half? Well, with the first four or five minutes of the third period, we want to try to get this thing tied, and then from there, we'll just play it. At, All right, thanks for stopping by, Pat. You know, Pat Riley looks like a, a kind of a confident guy considering all the ultimatums he gives his team after so many seven-game series. What are your thoughts about what's churning in him and uh, the Lakers? Right well, now? he's got to be very concerned. And one thing he has to do to come out and start this third period is get James Worthy on track offensively. If they can't get him on track, they're going to be in for a long second half. Pat Riley used him uh, despite the fact that he had three personal fouls because he needed his offense. These are the fouls committed. Field goal percentage. With 19 points. And the rebounds. And that's the big story. The rebounds. And maybe a bigger story, Billy, of all those numbers is the fact that the Lakers had no fast break points in the second quarter. Very similar to the last ball game where they were able to get out, only get four or six points in the first period in game four and not be able to run from that point on. And we saw the Pistons pick it up and get out and run. But I think if you look at one person that turned this game around, it was John Sally coming off the bench, blocking a few j shots and picking up the intensity for his club. The early moments of this third quarter will be critical. The Lakers, who are down by 13, cut it to nine. Brad Riley feels good about the nine. Danley makes it 11, though, in a hurry, and he's picked up where he left off. He has 21 points in the game. Well, A.T. Green played perfect defense that time and forced that jump shot, didn't allow him to penetrate, and Danley is on a roll right now. Amazing how the Pistons limit the opposition to under 50% shooting, isn't it, throughout the playoff? Yep, they're, they're a heck of a defensive ball club. Kareem outside hit. That's the second Kareem one he's hit from out there. For James. Maybe we're going to see a different Kareem in the next 20 years. He has 20 in the ball game. 61 to 52, nearly a minute gone by. Mahorn in and out, and the Lakers down by nine, trying to slice it again. Magic Johnson going in strong to the hoop and gets the Magic basket Johnson. off the glass. Magic will have to provide some offensive force. He has 11 points in the game because Green and Worthy certainly have it with two points apiece and foul trouble for both. Good spacing by the Detroit offense. Thomas rims the hoop. Kareem couldn't control it out of bounds. This game is being played before 41,732 largest crowd ever. For the playoffs, what a shot by Magic Johnson going to his left hand. If he went with his right hand, Lambeer might have blocked that shot. So they broke the bank. The all-time playoff Attendance records broken tonight here at the Silverdome, 41-7-3-2. Magic on Isaiah. Lane Beer double team, blocked by Magic. Good defense by him. Lane Beer picked up a loose ball. Good effort by Lane Beer. He just down hustled the Lakers on that play. Lead is nine. Working against Mahorn. Lane Beer with another rebound. He's got nine. He's a leading rebounder for both sides. And a huge edge off the board for Detroit. Lane Beer. Dumar. Right now, the, the, the Pistons are just quicker. They're reacting better the best to the basketball than the Lakers. Danley fires up an air ball. Dumars working hard against Magic. Dumars, frankly, is a bit fatigued. That's how the Pistons feel. It's very tough defensive assignment through the series. James Worthy. James Worthy with his second basket of the game. And that's the guy the Lakers have to get on a roll. Because with his quickness and post-up ability, he could hurt Dantley down low. Thomas misses long range. Detroit has settled for the perimeter shot outside, and the Lakers have just about cut their biggest deficit in half. Magic settled for an outside shot there. Both coaches want their teams to be aggressive, taking the ball to the basket.
Beer over Magic Johnson. Bill Lane Beer, two for four in this third quarter, has eight points. Come on, so when you play Lane Beer, you must get up on him. Try to force him to put the ball on the floor. Magic Johnson didn't do it at that time. Worthy. And the foul called against Detroit. It'll be the second team foul against the Pistons. Adrian Dantley. The team's first. His first foul. That's one team foul against Detroit. Bill Lane Beer with nine rebounds in the game, and Vinnie Johnson has five, second on the team. Plus 12 points. There's that bench again. And now Dantley is matched up against Jabbar. It's easy for Danley actually to hit that sky hook against all defenders on Detroit. This is just not a tall team, the Pistons. No, and what you have to do against them is push him out off the court. Don't let him get close to the basket because he's just not going to miss that shot. Green leads the Lakers with 22. Boy, the defense is really picked up for the Lakers. Four seconds on the clock. And then it's like a stake in the heart when Dumars hits a shot like that. And that's the shot they'll give up. Green off the glass. Lakers getting down Green. quicker now offensively. From Magic they got a good shot in the paint. Pistons lead by seven. The crowd has not been alive at all in the second half. Kind of a tenuous seven-point lead for Detroit right now. Timeout, 727 remaining in this third period. What's the finesse? The physical, the finals. We will, we will. Going into a game, you have a game plan, and the Lakers' game plan is to stop any penetration to the basket by the Pistons and to really work defensively, and we'll see right here in your picture the way A.C. Green works to deny the ball to Dantley. Overplaying, not allowing him to receive the basketball, and they force the jump shot. Sometimes you can play the perfect defense that you want as a team, and it doesn't work out. Thomas and Dumars, Lane Beer, Mahorn, and Dantley, the same five that started the game. Same story for the Lakers, traveling called. So the Lakers down by seven, trying to cut it. This crowd has been quiet, and they are seated. They were standing most of the first half, but they are quiet. And they seem kind of concerned, maybe. I don't know if the Pistons are, but they, the crowd seems to be, Billy. Yep, they sure are, and there's a turnover. And a big steal by Thomas, getting back to Scott. And a collision and an offensive foul. Called against Isaiah Thomas. Scott wisely got the position quickly. Well, Byron Scott really got back defensively. Now, well, here's the loose ball. Mahorn reaches in, deflects it, deflects it. Isaiah Thomas comes out, and he's going to pick up the foul. Good play by Byron Scott getting back defensively. Worthy posting up against Dantley here. Foul. Worthy will go to the line, and Adrian Dantley has picked up his second foul. There's a very important man to the Piston hope, Vinnie Johnson, who is second in rebounding and more important to the Pistons, has 12 points off the bench. He's coming in, replacing...